Leo. This is going to be for Leo singles for November 17th through the 24th. And we're going to see what's going on for you guys as far as options and love for this week, okay? Leo singles. What do we have for Leo singles? Please show me. Please show me. Leo singles. Leo singles. What's going on with Leo singles this week of the 17th through the 24th? Gemini and Cancer had people expecting them to come back. So we'll see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Leo singles. One more shuffle. All right. Hmm. Cancer. Aquarius energy. Hmm. Sagittarius. Somebody's being very stubborn here. <laughs> It seems as though there's somebody here that knows that the other person loves them and they're taking they're taking it for granted. They're taking it for granted. being very childish about the situation here. I feel like there's someone here that is in between you guys. I don't know if it's a friend or um, a, a child but I feel like I feel like it's the child of the mother and I don't feel like it's a child that is shared between the two of you. I feel like this child is almost like standing like on guard of, of their mother and not allowing this King of Swords to infiltrate. Because something, something happened between you guys that um, caused the female in this situation. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm talking to a male right now. But it caused this female in this situation to have a lot of strife. Um, the disconnect hit her very hard. And I feel like this is an adult child. Um, maybe in, you know, late teens, early 20s. That is very protective of, of their mother. I also feel like, I'm just getting this, we have an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, here we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius, Energy. But I feel like there is something about the male 
being interested in a same-sex relationship that quite possibly came to light or the female was suspicious of. Now we have the Queen of Swords here. So this is this is somebody that actually got in between this couple. Pisces energy. I feel like this this Queen of Swords turned a blind eye to the situation for the longest. And I feel like she never really got um, a lot of air here. She never really got a solid answer to her suspicions. Um, but I feel like there's the Knight of Swords is here too. She never really got an answer to her suspicions, but it was enough that she probably um, kept picking at the situation. And it caused a rift. Now, I feel like this King of Swords, and I'm, this is coming through very strongly here, this King of Swords being... Um, Feeling like, because I don't feel like this is this is a relationship between the same sex that's out in the open at all. I feel like this is something that you know that the King of Swords would like to keep hush. And and I feel like since you know the female in this situation brought that up and it was an issue that he felt like you know she was going to go out and um, possibly like divulge this information. So I, I feel like he's been like counteracting and been and, and possibly like talking behind her back. Like, a lot of air energy here, guys. I know this sounds like out there, but this is very strong here. Leo, I don't know where you come into this, but if if this resonates for you, um, whether you are the male or female in this scenario, um, I don't know what to say because you know it's not a good situation to be in, for sure. It's really not. But she's really trying to keep herself afloat and just like, just go on. Just go on. But I do feel like this, this King and Queen of Swords, they're still very, very connected. And this same-sex relationship may be something that, you know, this, this King may be bisexual, you know. So I don't know if if that's what's actually going on here and not homosexual, you know, strictly likes men, of course, because he was with the Queen of Swords. But I don't know if that's actually what broke this couple up. But it feels like that. It feels that way. Okay. So that's, that's not a good love option for this week, I know, guys, but that's what came through. Um, so I will be speaking with you guys uh, next week. And um, you know what? I'm going to do another spread for you guys because that, that was kind of heavy. That was kind of heavy and probably only for like a few of you. Okay. So let's pull from the steampunk. All right. Let's see what options Leo singles have in love. 
Let's try to pull another set of energy. Leo single in love. Leo singles in love. For November 17th through the 24th. Let's see. All right. All right. Like it. Chariot. Like it already. Ooh, the devil card. Mm. Cancer Capricorn. You know, this is for somebody I feel like who has like a, a North Node in Cancer, South Node Capricorn, what I feel here. It's like you're trying to move past this um, this obsessive energy that that you've been in, C Cancer Capricorn, and you may be like a Leo, um, Cancer Leo, very close there. I don't see you being phased by this Capricorn energy. I feel you almost. Like you are embracing your, because nobody's perfect. So I feel like you're embracing your, you're kind of balancing out your, your shadow side versus, you know, your spiritual side. And I feel like you're, you're gaining your footing here and realizing that, you know, there is much more to this, to this world than just, you know, what we see. And I feel like that's where you are. Strong water sign coming through here. And the Knight of Cups. There's somebody here that really, really, really loves you, Leo. Almost to the point, of, almost to the point of being a little obsessed. At least that's the way you see it. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is very, very intuitive. Very intuitive. Does not let um, negative things bother them to the point where they can't get over it. And I feel like in the past though, I feel like, you know, the way they responded to you and how they came across that they felt about you, mm, you weren't, I feel like you weren't feeling it. Um, yeah, see this person's coming, coming towards you very slowly though. I don't see it being this weak. This is like Taurus energy here. And then again, you guys are like, I feel you moving fastly towards them, like energetically, like wanting to, but I see them giving, like giving up to the point where they're not gonna reach out to you. But I feel like if you went to them, I feel like they would be willing to listen. This is a very slow moving person at this point. They may have been very fast and like offering their love to you unconditionally before. I don't feel like that's this person right now. I feel them being very stable and grounded. Just knowing what it is that they want. Look at this with the high priestess and the moon together. Very watery energy. 
very psychic kind of energy. The moon card represents, for me, somebody that has been through a battle like the Nine of Wands and they are just trying to go inside themselves to figure out what is their next move, okay? Then the High Priestess uses her intuition to make it happen, to do what they need to do. Very, very, um, very in the know, this person. They're, they're not going to do anything haphazardly. I feel like you walked away from this person. I feel like you walked away from this person and decided to like, you know, leave this behind. I feel like it was too much for you. But I get the sense that you're being pulled back in the direction of this person and you probably feel it. You probably feel it. There's Scorpio energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus energy, Aries energy. Okay? All right, Leo. So that's what you guys have as far as options uh, for November 17th through the 24th. All right, guys. I will see you next week.